Hi Lacey, this is a review of how to fill out the product sheet uh, so that we can get all of these different things in here that we discussed uh, during the meeting. Um, there's a little bit to cover here, so I'm just going to try to go slow and make it all very clear. Uh, if you do end up with any questions, let's um, you know, have you fill out just a couple of products and then let's set up a time to talk. I don't want you to get too invested putting in data and then we have to have you go back and redo things. Um, so for starters here, I've frozen the top row so that as you scroll down you can still see what the column headers are. Uh, we've only included the columns that I think that you need to work with, so if there's something else that needs to be added here, let me know so that we can make sure that we uh, you know, we get it in here in the right format. These uh, rows that are highlighted yellow, these are just um, test products that we have on the site for, for various testing purposes uh, for our own, so you can ignore those. You don't have to fill out any of these yellow, these four yellow rows. As for this first product here, the lead crystal, uh, I made a mistake on it when removing some of the variations, so that's why the stock isn't here and some of this stuff, but again, don't, don't worry about it, that it looks different. Uh, other than that, we're good to go. So you'll recognize and uh, know what most of these are. Here's your SKU, here's your product name. Um, this is your short description for the product. And this is the variation description. So unfortunately, these have to be separate fields, but um, the difference between them is the short description is what is the main description for the product. And then the variation description, it's like what I was showing you on um, North Star. Let's just look at that really quick. And we're going to go to a product. So this is the short description. This is the one that shows up before you click anything. The variation description is what shows up down here once you choose one of the variables. So, got a meeting coming up. So this is what you want to put uh, for the one that shows up all the time. This is the parent product. And then any of these variables, which is, you know, what you choose that variation for, the rod, the frit size, any of that stuff, that's where the variation description goes if you're going to put those things in there. So it seems like these are going to be consistent throughout, that you're just going to talk about what a frit size of F0 means and what a rod means. Um, but in any case, they go in these two separate columns. Short description for the parent product, variation description for the variations. Uh, stock, I, we can talk about this later. You don't need to mess with this. I believe that um, the uh, integration is going to do these updates for you if you um, talk to them and get that part taken care of. The weight, most of these should be correct as is. It's They're all just one kilo. Obviously, for some of the others, it's it's different, but, obvious, but for the glass products, it's all just going to be one. Um, I just put this in here in case for some of these others, uh, the, you know, some of these others, the, the weights are a little bit different. Um, I guess the lamp working, it's going to go. By the way, uh, any product that needs to go uh, away and you're never going to use it again, maybe you can just highlight those in a color. So I think you said all of the lamp working is going to go. Uh, let's just come up with a system for marking those. Um, and whether we're just going to draft them or whether we're going to permanently delete them and they're never coming back. Um, moving on, uh, length, width, and height. Uh, currently we have these as centimeters, but we can have mixed. So if these need to be inches while this is in kilos, we can do that. Just let me know. You can just change these headers to inches and fill it out in inches if that's what you prefer. Uh, categories, I think we're clear on that. Again, you only have to put the category for the parent product, so you don't have to repeat this for each of these, because this is essentially all one product, and this is all one product. So you only have to put the category on the, what we call the parent product, and all of these children or variable product, variation products 
uh, do not need the category on there. Won't hurt anything if you do, but it'll just make your life easier if you just enter it for the parent product only. That also helps you see which, you know, how many actual products you're dealing with since this is all really one product. Um, upsells, this is what is going to show since you said you wanted to choose um, what shows here at the bottom or if I show you on your actual website. Um, so what is going to show up right down here when you're looking at a product and you scroll down since you want these to be custom items, uh, that is what you put in this upsells column. Now you put in the SKU, this looks like you've just, somebody's just put in the product name, but in this case that is the actual SKU of the product is men's t-shirt, so don't let you throw, don't let that throw you off. This, the items in here need to be from this column. This is the upsell. Uh, and again, you can only have the parent SKU in there. You can't have any variation SKUs in here. That's not going to work. Uh, and then color is just the color. Um, I think that is it for now. We'll see if I come up with anything else before I send this off, but I have to run off to a meeting. Uh, that should be it. SKU, uh, product name, short description, variation description, length, width, height. Again, we can change these to inches. Uh, the category, the upsells or related products, and the color. Thanks.